find the LCM of 80 and 100. To find the LCM, first we should frame it in this way. C. That is 80, 100. Okay. Next. Now we focus on to the first number that is 80. For this number, last digit is 0, so we take 5 here. Now first number is 8. A number close to 8 in 5 table is 5 once 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 carried forward making it 30. When do we get 30 in 5 table? 5, 6, 30. Now the other number. For this number, last digit is 0, so even this number also divisible by 5. So here first number is 1, 1 smaller than 5, so we take two numbers, that is 10. When do we get 10 in 5 table? 5 2 is 10. This 0 carried down. Now here the last digit is 6, which is even. So we take 2 here. First number is 1, 1 smaller than 2, so we take two numbers, that is 16. When do we get 16 in 2 table? 2 8 is 16. Now the other number. Last digit is 0, so this number also divisible by 2. So here first number is 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2 1 is 2. This 0 carried down. Now here we have 8. 8 is nothing but 2 4 is 8. The other number is 10. 10 is divisible by 2. When do we get 10 in 2 table? 2 5 is 10. Here we have 4. 4 is nothing but 2 2 is 4. The other number is 5. 5 is not divisible by 2 so it will be written down as it is. Now here we have 2. 2 is a prime number so we take 2 1 is 2. 5 is not divisible by 2, so you write down 5 as it is. Now here we got 1, so we focus on to the next number that is 5. Here 5 is a prime number, so we take 5 1's 5. Now we got 1 in both the places. So now our LCM is, LCM is the product of these numbers, that is, 5 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. Okay. Now let us multiply all these numbers. That is 5 into 2, 10, 10 into 2, 20, 20 into 2, 40, 40 into 2, 80, 80 into 5. 8, 5 is 40, 0 as it is. So, 400 is our LCM. Am I clear?